What is good, beautiful people on YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another one. Last episode for the day, Ninja Kamui episode five. After this, we are officially caught up to what has been aired. So we'll have to wait until Saturday, I believe they drop, which is fucking hype. I didn't know that. Saturday's even more hype because we got solo leveling, national, and fucking Ninja Kamui. God damn, that is a stacked fucking day. But yeah, after this one, we are officially caught up to what has been released so far. I've been loving it. The fucking premiere was amazing. Everything up to here, it's got me locked in. I'm very excited to see where this goes. This episode, I'm completely expecting Higan and the Reaper to actually face off, see, you know, how much they catch up, if they if they do actually any talking within this fight, and maybe learn more about their past and and also just like why he's so dedicated to the ninja clan and you know like i mean obviously like most ninjas if you're in that life like you're supposed to follow that code and that's just like the that's just the way you are so maybe it's as simple as that but maybe there's something else more that's you know pushing him to really really you know stay up on that code and and do well by the ninja clan so i'm excited to learn more about both of their history or you know why you know they're on opposite sides of the fence now like why he hasn't exiled himself i mean i guess the only reason why he gone did is because like you know him and mary like really wanted like they already broke their you know code by having an emotional relationship with each other uh and and left for that right uh so they actually had a reason to break the code whereas zai you know saw it as like we're together now as this ninja group like let's just do our best to follow the fucking code and that's how he's lived his life up until now i'm assuming so i'm just excited to see them go the fuck at it that's what i'm assuming we're getting right into hopefully you know we leave off right where we were on on episode four at the end of it and and see them really fucking go at it because I, i'm assuming this this fight is going to be absolute fucking gas but that's if they can actually even really fight because he said the guy the other ex ninja that's helping he gone uh if that if it, if it really isn't the reaper because i was thinking maybe it was him for a second that he was going to let down the barrier for five seconds or if because of any longer the alarm's going to trigger so they're on opposite sides of the barrier right now so are they really going to fight here or is he going to have to going to have to retreat or something maybe i'm not really sure but i'm hoping that we get to see them actually fucking fight because that's going to be fucking sick so without further ado let's get in the episode let's get in the reaction if you guys enjoy it please like down below comment subscribe for new hit the notification bell see the next one's dropping let's get it episode five ninja kamui Okay, seems we're getting a little recap. Blocked his path. You weren't expecting that re reinforcement for the barrier. So yeah, he put it- it already came back up. So I'm assuming he can't put it down again. Is he just gonna have to retreat? Damn, bro. Mmm. Come on. Oh, that's right. She got information on, like, somebody who worked there at one point. And then you'll treat me to another one. He looks frightened. He started shaking immediately. <laughs> Stick it to him real hard, this guy. Yeah, but you still don't know what the secret R is, bro. You expect him to be able to beat his ass when you're gonna get your shit beat. <laughs> this fucking guy. Yeah, he all he gives a fuck about is data, so he he doesn't actually mind. Oh, 
Oh, he determined. Hmm, okay. Good luck. Yeah, for real. Good fucking luck, dude. Ah, oh, there's a door behind there. Is it New Year's? Or no, just the start of the parade. Okay, okay. I was about to say, what the fuck? It's time to make his move. They're letting him in. Who's he gonna face off first? Okay, that's what I thought, a manhole. Work his way through underground. Yep, cameras everywhere. They're paying close attention to you. They're all just watching in anticipation. Besides him. He's just meditating, as he usually does. Just waiting for his fucking assassin to come and get him. Oh, look at all of them waiting for him. Oh, nah. He about to go to fucking work. He about to go to work, dog. Found a lot of rats in the sewer. You guys are okay. You got some hope. You got some hope to give you the courage to fucking hack through that shit. I told you this man did He getting busy. He getting busy, bro. Oh my god, you guys just don't stand a fucking chance to an OG, bro! Y'all new fucking ninjas, bro! You just got- you, Barely around the block! Oh my god! Nah, that- that run is so cold. The way they animate this is fucking amazing. Reaper's waiting patiently. If he gets through all those other motherfucking ninjas, he's gonna have to fight him for sure. This man's not sleeping, bro. He's tired. He's keeping himself up with this shit. Also because of the trauma that he dealt with with his fucking kid dying. Social security numbers? Fake identities? Oh, that's- oh, that's what they're pro they're probably getting aliases for the fucking ninjas. You don't think so? Wait, what? Oh, fuck. They've already pulled up to his place? That was quick! Yeah, what's Emma's name doing there? Bro, is Emma working alongside Alza then? Is she corrupt? Y'all are brain dead. That was the easiest distraction of their- of their fucking lives. <laughs> yeah, for sure. His boss kept on trying to tell him to fucking not keep get, getting his nose into this, so maybe like Emma... Is in on that shit too? I mean, why else would her name be there? On that list. We don't really know what that list means right now either. It's just their social security numbers and, and money and shit. Oh, nah. Oh, he going dummy. <laughs> it's 
so cold, bro. Oh, nah. God damn, I love this shit. Yeah, she's not answering, bro. She's in on that shit. She's in on that shit, bro. I look forward to teaching with you. Bro, she was being sarcastic as hell, bro. She knew she was saying goodbye to this motherfucker forever. Oh, good shot, man. Oh, okay, Morris. Holy fuck, bro. This episode is intense. Bro, he just walking through all this shit like no pro Yeah, they, they're dipping. They're like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm off that, bro. I love my family. I'm going home to my family. Yeah, that's what they saw. They're like, I'm good. I'm off. I'm, you know what? Maybe it's time I get another job. <laughs> he's feeling all that rage because he's getting closer and closer. To the one that's behind all this shit. Who's coming out of the woodworks now, Reaper? Who the fuck? Are these more robots? Oh, so these are these are techni this is technology he's testing on and the small dude and whoever else are, are you are the ones that are inside them. They're basically like mech suits. Yep, and there's the one he there's the one he's after, Yamaji. Oh. Yeah, these mech suits look durable as fuck. Oh my god. Probably gives them super strength and all kinds of shit like that too. Oh, he going straight for the big dude. He said, fuck this riffraff. Damn, cut the line. You're not getting to him quite yet, buddy. Fuck. Oh, he's using it again? Oh my goodness. This shit hasn't even activated yet. Y'all better be careful. Y'all gonna get mopped the fuck up real soon. And he didn't listen to the doctor's warning since he's using it again. He might die after this. He's going into this prepared, fully prepared to die. As he's, as he's talking to his family in his head like, I'll see y'all soon. Oh my god. Oh, that animation is so cold, bro. You can't even keep up. Oh. That had to be Zai, right? Or no? Oh my god, this dude is sick. Nice pass. Oh lord. Is that thing that he uses that he pulls out of his wrist, is that is that even his oh secret art? Like, has he even revealed it once yet? The Reaper? Yep. Zai. He's barely even putting up a fight right now. He's so exhausted. Damn, man. What the fuck is gonna happen, bro? I can't take this anticipation. There's no way he dies. What the fuck did it? What happened? One of the ones in the mech suits? Oh, wow. And I thought it was the Reaper for a second. Nope. Damn, huge explosion. 
Saved his ass. It was this has gotta be the X Ninja, right? But who's in that suit, bro? Who is who's in the suit? Cause the X Ninja also had to have been on the inside with those motherfuckers if they if they were fighting with together and they were all in the suits together. That that X Ninja, bro. Whoever just saved fucking Higan has got some major fucking influence, or is just really good at keep like keeping a low profile. This fucking episode's gonna end, bro. Damn, bro. Why does this feel like a finale, like with the credits and everything? There's no way that was the last episode or anything, right? Okay, yeah, no, it says a total of 12 episodes, okay. I was about to say, bro. Yeah, nah, for real, the music at the end was fucking hitting, dude. Damn. That's what I'm saying, like, with the music combined and everything, and then, like, not going into the traditional ending, and then fucking, like, this is just black screen of credits. Like, this makes it feel like a finale episode. But it says here that uh, there's supposed to be 12, so that's definitely not, like, the fucking end. But damn. That gave me, like, a finale vibe, bro. That shit was wild. Oh, dude, that was a good fucking episode. That was really good. Holy shit. Alrighty, guys. What another gas fucking episode of Ninja Comedy. That officially catches me up to where the fuck we're at with the releases of these episodes. We're all caught up. Gotta wait for the new one on Saturday. But I'm so glad I am caught up now. Like, bro, this shit is so fucking hype. That episode was spectacular, bro. Like, it pretty much started right where we left off with fucking reaper and uh he, he gone or zai and he gone facing off against each other uh or just facing each other between that barrier and he was the one you know you weren't expecting more reinforcement from the barrier like the barrier went down sure but zai made sure definitely that you stayed the fuck out and then the barrier went up again because obviously the ex ninja was only able to put it down for five seconds as he said so Kept him the fuck out. Obviously, the big, the all the big wigs at that table, you know, fucking Alza president, the assistant, whoever that other robot or mech, whoever's in that other mech suit. I'm assuming it's somebody in a mech suit instead of just a robot now because we see these mech suits and it's people inside of them. The one that oversees all the, you know, security systems and most of the technology within the city and shit. Uh, big D and then the fucking small guy ninja and Yamaji, obviously. Uh, they're all patient. They're all paying attention to this shit. They're all literally watching him in like infiltrate this place, and they're literally letting him into the city. And this was the small guy's idea, just because he's like fucking perverted as fuck and wants his hands all over him, because uh, he's so intrigued by him. So they literally let him in. X Ninja tells him about it. He's like, "Yo, your best time going 7 p.m. That's when a fucking festival or parade's going on or whatever. That's your best time." And literally, as he infiltrates and just fucking is making light work of all these normal ninjas. I mean, just. Slicing and dicing through them effortlessly. The all the motherfucking bigwigs are paying attention to him. They're all paying attention, watching him on the on the cameras and just locked in on and what on what he's capable of. Especially the the president of Alza because he wants even more data. That's all he gives a fuck about is data, data, data. So he's making his way through. As on the opposite ends of things, Mike Morris went to go fucking take on this lead that uh, Emma gave him of, you know, somebody that apparently used to work at Alza and, uh, you know, see if they can get any information from him. And so Mike Morris goes there. Obviously the guy's like, you know, a little frightened at first cause he's, you know, been living in hiding obviously. And, you know, has lived a completely different life ever since he left that company and, and truly believes that they're in some shady shit, which he isn't, you know, a crazy person to think about, but he's used to thinking himself as crazy because nobody fucking believes him. But Mike's on the same page, so he's like, all right, just fucking, like, I, I believe you, bro. Like, come on, this, I, I want to take them down just as much as you do. So just try, just try and hack another shit and see what information we can get out of them. So they get some sort of information where they pull up this list where it's a bunch of social security numbers, names, and money, or whatever, I guess. And one of those names is Emma's name. And the FBI, his, you know, apprentice or, you know... You know somebody that's been you know looking up to him and, sh and, and he's been teaching her the job of the of being in the fbi basically and we saw in the beginning like as they were talking they had like a bite to eat before like they like confirmed this information or he went to go on by himself to do this she was thanking him and you know being her sarcastic like kind of uh funny character she is you know just getting kind of sappy and you know thanking him for being you know her mentor and also like you know i'd love to fucking you know continue to learn from you i'm sure i can learn so much more from you uh still 
And I have a feeling now that it might have just been sarcastic, and she knew that he this was going to be the last time that she saw him. Because maybe she's in on all this in terms of, like, like, maybe she's higher up in the FBI than we think. And, like, that was, like, the closest way that they could keep tabs on Mike was Emma herself because they trusted each other. And Emma seems to be really good at getting people to trust her. I mean, so, I mean, she's had all of us so far. You know what I'm saying? She seemed like a fucking stand-up FBI agent that was actually trying to work together with Mike and on this shit, on this case. Even though the higher-ups of the FBI didn't want this to happen, it, was, it keeps on trying to tell Mike, yo, shut the, like, get your nose out of this shit, bro. Maybe that was the best way to keep tabs on him was Emma herself. If that list, if, if her name's on that list, maybe she's in on all this shit and that swayed me even more to think that way whenever he was trying to fucking call her while they were getting chased down in the car and she wasn't fucking answering so that has to mean that she is like she she's she's done with talking to you like she's assuming that you're dead or not assuming but like breaking off contact like you shouldn't be able to live a normal life after this type shit like you've made your decision and she's got she's got to be in on it I, that, I, that's what i believe so hopefully you get some more confirmation on that next episode and pretty much from the rest of the uh, episode there was just literally seeing Higan do his fucking thing with all these normal ninjas, getting through all of them pretty effortlessly. Two fucking security guards or like, you know, Asians that were guarding the elevator. They, they literally dipped. They're like, fuck this, dude. Like, I like my family. I want to go home to my family. I'm good. Because they saw the carnage that he just fucking caused. And, he, and they were like, yeah, nah, I'm off. Like, fuck this elevator. He can go the fuck up there goes in the elevator goes up and that's when he gets ambushed by all these motherfuckers in these mech suits most of them being the big wigs behind you know the, the the table that we're always seeing i was a president's doing some cardio watching this whole thing go down yamaji is watching this all go down from the comfort of his fucking helicopter in the sky and then we got the small dude that's in the fucking in, in one of the mech suits and then there's a couple others in mech suits that we didn't see their faces in. i don't know if maybe we'll see who the rest of them are in those mech suits like maybe big d is one of them uh maybe one of them i, I didn't notice that other mech that would be sitting at the big wig table in, in, in this fight so i don't think that he, that person was a part of it but i know it was the small dude and then a couple other mech suits and then this pink mech suit pink purplish mech suit person was the one that actually saved Higan because Higan was reaching his limits he used that fucking uh ninja art again or whatever i don't know if it was a secret art i don't know if that is his secret art i can't remember the doctor saying if it was a secret art or not I, I feel like it might be like maybe that is his secret art but if he hasn't used it yet then like maybe it's some crazy shit so i don't know because the fact that he's used this multiple times and he didn't you know heed the doctor's warning that he'll probably die the next time he uses it uh maybe it is a secret art or not i i i can't remember so hopefully we get you know, uh, that mentioned again, but he uses it again to try and, you know, gain the upper hand and it doesn't amount to anything. He's exhausted. Reaper comes out. He's about to deal a finishing blow and cut his head off. And then boom, that's when the, that's when you hear a fucking, you know, clash of, you know, something like a blade hitting something, something a blade hitting some, 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 some sort of other metal. And I was thinking like, Oh, wait a second. Cause like you could see the blade touching the pink mech suit. So I was like, hold on a second. Is Reaper actually attacking? Like, I thought for a second I was going to be right and the Reaper was going to start attacking the, all the motherfuckers in the mechs. And then they'd just dip and he'd save them. Like, that was the moment that he was going to show his betrayal. But it, it was, in fact, not. The pink mech suit was the one... Pink mech suit was the one that got in the way and protected Hegon and then fucking took him with him and to try and save him, which seems to be successful so far. But that's pretty much where the episode was ending. As Hegon was losing consciousness... Being saved by the whoever's in the pink mech suit, which I'm, I'm assuming is the ex ninja that has been, you know, in cahoots with him and, you know, giving him all of this information. Hopefully, that is the same person. Maybe not. We saw Mike Morris basically getting out of the car and, you know, pretty banged up after being chased down by those motherfuckers with the the dude that he went to go talk to the for that lead, who apparently worked at Alza. So that's where we left off bro i mean it's getting real fucking serious now and i don't know if i don't know if the pink mech suit motherfucker i'm assuming he's gonna retreat fully like he's gonna take him out of the city and they're just gonna have to try again some other time like, they're just gonna get the fuck out of the city but if not then because I, I don't know where you can hide in here i mean they're, they're gonna know your whereabouts so i'm assuming the pink mech suit motherfuckers are gonna just bring him the fuck out and they're gonna have to come up with another counterattack some other day to like be able to accomplish something again or, or give it another shot 
You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way they can stay there, I feel like. So maybe they regroup with Mike, or maybe they at least get in touch with Mike and trade information and, you know, mention the whole Emma thing. And we learn more about why her name's on the list because I, I, I'm pretty confident that she's in on this shit now. Like, she's part of that shady shit. So that's where we at, man. All caught up on Ninja Kamui. This shit is fucking so gas, bro. This shit is so good. I'm loving it. Animation absolutely fucking exquisite shit is fucking amazing love the visuals and the animation it, it, everything looks so good so yeah that's where we're at that's gonna do it for me for the reactions for today i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction if y'all did please like down below comment subscribe if you're new hit the notification bell see the next one's dropping i'll see you on the next one y'all be good deuces